Hi, everybody. This is Buzz McKim with Shop Now Networks. We're broadcasting from the Daytona Flea and Farmers Market, and we're here with Steve and Laura of um, Tidal Wave Comic and Collectibles. Good Hi. To well, good to see you. Yeah, great. And um, when you say collectibles, you're not kidding. There are things I've seen here that I have not seen since I was a kid. Absolutely. We have things from the 50s through actually current, some mm -hmm. current things. So a little bit of everything. Yeah. What's hot these days? Uh, a lot. <laughs> Star Wars always always hot. Yeah. Um, Marvel figures, oh, yeah, sure. same thing. Yeah. I just got in a collection of uh, '80s GI Joes, which are off the charts right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Three and three. Yeah, quarter. yeah the three and three quarter inch are a little more. People get more excited about those than they do the older, no the kidding. twelve inch ones. Yeah. yeah. I see you have a box here on the counter with all kinds of cool stuff. Is that a collection you just uh, just it's, a, it's one of our customers bringing in. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one of our customers bringing yet. things in. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we have people bring us things all the time, so yeah. we're, we're uh, always looking for new product. Well, that's neat. So if anybody out there has anything they think might be collectible or might be valuable, they'll, uh, they'll bring it out to you, and you'll at least appraise it for them. Absolutely. And then try to... I don't want to use the term talk them out of it, <laughs> but you'll try to make a negotiation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, uh, we're, we're doing that all weekend long, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes we buy more stuff than we sell in a really? day, but we uh, we love buying items, yeah. and uh, it's it's always exciting to see what walks in the door. Oh, sure. Yeah, I, lo I love that model of the mummy up there on the shelf. I had that when I was a kid, and... That was my favorite mummy. Yep. Uh, I mean, my favorite model <laughs> and my favorite <laughs> mummy. <laughs> and I took flat black and I painted the whole thing flat black, and then I rubbed all the flat black off, and it really made all the all the. Uh, into those oh man, it was great! I was so proud of myself. Uh -huh. I thought I was a master model maker, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Jeez. We get all kinds of those. They're Aurora models from the 1960s, and we yeah. do get those in mm -hmm. on occasion. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes they're painted really well, and sometimes they were painted by a five-year-old who got it in the 60s, oh. and they look terrible, <laughs> but they're still collectible because people just love them. Right. I remember they, they put a line of those out that glowed in the dark. Yes. That was really pretty cool. I was pre-glow in the dark. I was way back. <laughs> yeah. So what's your personal favorite thing? Uh, boy, I, for me, it was always comics. Mm -hmm. So when I opened the store, I, I concentrated on comics. Mm -hmm. And as I found the market, people coming in asking about things, the, it just kind of grew. Right. It grew from there. Now, I did always like my toys from the 70s, Mego mm -hmm. figures, the little 8-inch figures and 12-inch figures from the 70s. Oh, sure. Um, which yeah. we have uh, some of those now. But they, uh, <laughs> we have everything from, you know, 70s toys to 90s toys and mm -hmm. some newer toys and you know, different generations are into different things. Sure. How about model car kits, like the old AMT kits? Every once in a while, mm -hmm. every once in a while, I try to stick to pop culture related things. So sure. if somebody's going to bring me in and, you know, an AMT like Batmobile or yeah. something like oh, that, cool. then I'm going to be interested or something related to pop culture. Normally yeah. the cars, just the cars, I don't normally yeah. carry those. How about Rat Fink? Rat, anything Rat Fink. Really? Yeah, I love Rat Fink oh, stuff. Oh, that's good to know. It's very hard to find, and, mm -hmm. you know, I've gotten a few things in. Don't have anything right now, though. Yeah, yeah, Rat Fink is... When Ed Roth came up with that idea, he said it was the counterculture's Mickey Mouse. Absolutely. <laughs> and he licensed all of his own products mm -hmm. uh, so nobody else could make them. That's right. Which makes them difficult to find. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. I mean, they didn't mass produce these like a Hasbro or somebody that he may have sold out sure. to he never did that he licensed his own stuff yeah and for someone that creative that artistic to be that much of a, a savvy businessman that's yes. a very unusual situation it is yeah yeah usually artists kind of get take advantage of mm -hmm. yeah that's unfortunate but uh, okay. gosh i mean every every time i turn around i see something oh look at that hey look at that i haven't seen that and some of the old horror magazines too those were awesome yes love those yeah those are always a favorite of mine too and anything related to the universal monsters from yeah. the you know, the 30s and the 40s and Dracula, Wolfman. And oh, you betcha. Frankenstein, yeah. all that good stuff. Family I love opera. that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now, what are you looking for these days? Uh, we're always looking for, I mean, just about anything. If, it, if it's pop culture related, we want it. Mm -hmm. um, mm. We love the horror stuff. It just happens to be one of my favorites. So mm -hmm. we carry, you know, older things all the way to, you know, some newer products like these Friday the 13th, yeah. the final chapter. And... You know, very, oh, wow. very nice figures, very and cool. these are very, very popular, yep. these type of figures. I saw um, 
it was a uh, storage wars the other day mm -hmm. where a guy bought a, a unit for, I think he paid like $15,000 for it, but it was full of toys, and he made like ninety one grand wow. off it. Wow. But it was all first class. You That's know. a good find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he was a pretty happy fella. I bet. He didn't know what he was getting into because he saw a great big case under it said kiss and it turned out where it was a homemade deal yeah right. he thought it was like maybe some of their equipment from you know and that wasn't the case but everything else he found was top of the line right so you never know what you're going to get into well that's i think that's the the fun of what we do mm -hmm. uh, for me it is anyway i mean you know with a business there's paperwork and everything else that goes along with it but yeah. the hunt every day there you go not knowing what's going to come in is there's just an excitement to yeah. it and that, you, that you have every day too. yeah it's my passion yeah. and uh you do you it's every day is something new yep yeah. that's really neat yes indeed well we are so thrilled that we were able to come back and see you and it's always a joy to spend time with you folks and look around and you know you, you never know that one thing i've been looking for for 100 years might just show up exactly yeah. you never know what's going to be here from week to week which yeah. we buy all the time so you're you're gonna find new things in the store every right. week. Right, that's good. Yeah, good, good reason to come out. And your air conditioned. And we're in the E2 building, yeah. E213. E213. We are air conditioned. Yes, so mm -hmm. you can come on out here, and it's not gonna kill you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and our product is, stays nice and fresh and clean. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> well, how about um, the heat. do you have any Facebook page or anything like we that? We do. Oh, our good. Facebook page is uh, Tidal Wave Comics and Collectibles okay. on Facebook. Right. Yep. And we do a lot of business through Facebook, too, so we can sell all over the country. I mean, oh, that's great. We take PayPal and credit cards, and so if someone sees something on our Facebook page yeah. that they want shipped, we can do that. Oh, beautiful. Well, if you want to come back here and, and walk through time, kind of relive your childhood, you'll see something here that will just bop you over the head. And it's something you probably can't live without, and you're going to have to buy it and make Steve a very happy fella. <laughs> <laughs> this is Buzz McKim with the Shop Now Networks. Broadcasting from Tidal Wave Comic and Collectibles from the Daytona, uh, Daytona, Daytona Flea, Daytona Flea and Farmer's Market. There we go.